Welcome, DJs and KJs. It's Ryan Share here with Lyrics 1.4. This brand new iteration is also available for Windows, although it hasn't been officially announced yet anywhere. Uh, you can download it. In fact, I've included a download link in the description below. But today, I just want to demonstrate quickly one of the most important things you're going to need to get up and running right away with Lyrics is importing your own existing music library. Of course, you do have access to the Party Time Karaoke subscription in Lyrics. Uh, it gives you access to over 15,000 HD quality karaoke songs for only $99 a month. It's a commercially legal subscription, so you can go ahead and use it for public performance in bars and nightclubs and restaurants, uh, wherever you're making money. Uh, and then you have karaoke.net also built in, which is essentially the same catalog, although a few more songs are indeed sprinkled in right now. Um, and that's for a la carte on-the-fly purchases and downloads of karaoke songs. But if you've got your own existing karaoke library and you've just installed the new Windows version of Lyrics, then you're going to need to import that music into the browser. So as you probably notice, as soon as you open Lyrics, you are prompted to add a folder or import playlists. You can go that route, but I find it much easier to just bypass that screen, just exit out, and then go under Explorer. On Mac, when you're using Lyrics, it's Finder. On Windows, it's Explorer. So you're going to go ahead down to Explorer, the Explorer tab down here, and expand it. At this point, and, and Explorer is Windows File Explorer. So it's just like opening up a folder within Windows and navigating throughout your hard drive uh, in various directories. So under Explorer here, you're going to navigate to the drive or the drive letter where all your files are located. If that's your internal drive, you can go to C. If it's your external drive, it'll be under C, and it'll have the drive letter right next to it. You can actually right-click on the drive uh, and add the entire drive, because what you're trying to do here, right, is import all your music, make a master list of everything, and that's by importing everything initially into the database and lyrics, which by doing so also adds all the songs, of course, to the search cache, so they're instantly searchable from that session forward. Uh, so you go ahead and you right-click on the drive letter and you choose Add to Database. Uh, because I'm not using an external drive in this demonstration, I'm just going to go under Tunes, down to my karaoke. I've just got a few karaoke songs here, and I'm just going to right-click it and say Add to Database. And immediately what you're going to see on screen is a pop-up dialog box. It's going to say the folder is being imported in the background. You may continue to work with the application during the import process. What that means is, right now, Lyrics is building a list. It's, it's importing the songs from that folder you selected, or the drive letter if you're importing the whole drive, into the master database list. You can tell uh, the progress, right? I didn't have too many songs to import in that particular folder, uh, but you can tell progress by going up, and by what I mean by progress is how far along you are importing songs, by going up and clicking on the database list, which is the top list on the left side of the browser, right below Global Browser, and then scroll to the bottom. If all the songs haven't yet imported from the folder you selected, you would see them rapidly piling in here at the bottom of the screen. Like you'd be able to take this scroll bar and, and bring it down to the bottom, but you would not be able to reach the bottom because songs are so quickly piling in from the bottom of the list as the software is reading in the tag data, file name information, and subsequently adding it to the database. So you just want to check that ever so often, right? If you've got a very large collection of songs, it could take, you know, 15, 20 minutes to initially import everything. So the way you're going to check it is just you're going to scroll to the bottom of the list. Uh, when you don't see any activity, that's no more songs piling in from the bottom of the list, for a good 30 seconds, you know it's done importing. And at that point, you can simply exit out of lyrics if you want to, which may be a good idea, because everything you do, whether it's importing music, changing settings, uh, setting up rotation, all that stuff is saved upon successfully exiting out of lyrics. So after you import your database, you may just want to exit out, let it save, pop it back open. The next thing many people are going to want to do to make it really easy to browse for songs if you're... Um, maybe a solo artist or something and you don't search a lot for songs and you just want to browse for a song You can actually import and add directories to favorites uh, And under Explorer also in Explorer you're going to navigate to the folder on your drive where your karaoke files are We'll go back down here. You can right click on the folder and say add to favorites This is going to go ahead and nest that folder for good Right under your little heart icon here, which is your favorites icon. 
So if I expand it, you'll see I had a folder that I previously imported that's there, but I have my karaoke folder right here. When I click on it, there are the songs that are in that folder. So you can repeat that process for how, however many you know, main folders you have on your hard drive that have karaoke files within them. And what's great about this is in the future, if you add more songs to one of those folders on your hard drive, if you add a bunch of songs or just a few, and you want to update Lyrics' browser to show those new songs so they're available in the search cache when you're searching for songs, is all you got to do is open up Lyrics, navigate to the folder here under Favorites that you added the songs to, click on it, and the minute you see the songs load here in the middle browser pane of Lyrics, they're now added to the internal database and the search cache, so they're going to be available from that session forward. And that's really it. So that's all you got to do. You don't have to constantly import them into the database list. It's just another list. You can just access the folder, click on it, and immediately the songs within that folder are going to be added to the internal database, the search cache, so they'll be available, like I said, from that session forward. Uh, that's a quick overview of just how to import, do a batch import of everything, and update the library moving forward in Lyrics. Uh, if you got questions, you know, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And check lyricskaraoke.com for updates coming soon to indicate the, the public announcement release of Lyrics for Windows.